Welcome back to Deponia. We are continuing our way to Sea Dock. Let's see if there's anything in this room. Oh, there's a couple of things here. That is a uh, techno flux inductor thingamy. I can spot one right off. What is it? Does it have juice? What is going on out there? Stop playing around with the equipment and come in. Alright, Doc, but we gotta take a look at things. It's time for another brilliant maneuver, plus or minus 10 minutes. Not necessary. I've got all the time I need. Hmm, okay. Hey, Doc. Rufus. At last, Goal really almost bought it this time. But, as I can see, you have everything under control. I'll, uh, go look for Bozo, then. He mentioned a tavern. Her implant has been badly damaged. I need to operate right away. There is only one problem. The data cartridge is not going to survive the procedure. I take it that's a bad thing? Well, yes. Her entire mind is stored on the thing. Her memory, her character, the ascension codes. I can save the data, but I need a bunch of empty cartridges. And these cartridges are hard to obtain? Mm, not really. This is the floating black market, after all. There's nothing you can't get here. And brain implants are currently all the rage. I installed another one just the other day. You will find the cartridges in the gadget shop. What? Why me? Because I need to get ready for the surgery. And I need to familiarize myself with the local circumstances. Bozo said something about a tavern? Rufus. All right, all right. So I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. The cheap ones are bound to cause problems. Well, it's your money. Oh my. I maybe should take back what I said about Rufus having a good heart. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Let's see. Obtain cartridges, good ones, let's say stop. Okay. Anything in here? Oh wow, there's a lot of things in here. She's almost always unconscious when we run into each other. I wonder if there's a connection. Ah, nonsense. <laughs> You're the reason she's always unconscious. <laughs> goal? Goal! She can't hear you, Rufus. No problem. I know what to do. All I need is battery acid, gunpowder, bull's blood. Or you can simply bring me the cartridges as I asked you to do. We'll see. Hmm. I wonder if he can do it. <laughs> Not without my help. That much is certain. So, I get those cartridges in the gadget shop? It's right by the harbor, outside the city gate. Just have them charged to my account. But make very sure that you get the good cartridges. I have a feeling about the whole... Oh, look at the shark out there. About the whole good cartridge thing with Rufus. <laughs> sure. <coughs> Chew first. That was a reminder that you were not to poke around in my things. Okay, reminder heard and ignored. Rufus? It's okay. <coughs> it's okay. Okay, so we don't get to access that. Who driver? <laughs> nice. And over here, guys, here's another piece of the puzzle. Right with the point mouse pointers. I'll try to slow down. I feel like the last two pieces, maybe I grabbed it too, too fast. So it's right here. Here we go. Let's check out the freezer. Oh, okay. Nothing there. Those two things up here though. Oh, switch. Okay, I guess we're done. <laughs> Not too much happening here. Look at all the signs up here. Air blow up, hot water maybe. Oh, what the other one is? And this thing right here. I bet this come into play later. Oh, you know, let's see what the Pokey had to say about Doc's place too.
Oh, Pokey's not here. Oh, wow. Oh, no, he is. He's up there. On the opposite side this time. Oh, unconscious again. Great. Patience. This is only the beginning of the game and... Protagonist. Come on. Rufus is already there and he can assist Doc to bring you back into action. What protagonist sleeps all the time? Why, why there are plenty. Sleeping Beauty or... Mac Ryan in Sleepless in Seattle. Yeah, right. Yeah, she did sleep. She slept all the... All right, the title has Sleepless in it, but well, that's about Tom Hank. Well, at least I fell asleep while watching. S somebody's sleeping. And so are you. It's only a temporary condition. Moving on. Oh. <laughs> She's so right. She's unconscious most of the time being a main character. But, but I guess just like Pokey said, oh, Sleeping Beauty is similar too. Okay, let's go get that cartridge to save go. Hey, you. Who? Me? No, we're talking to the three-headed platypus behind you. We've been watching you. We know what you're planning. Oh yeah? Seems like you know more than I do. News spreads fast in the floating black market. You've got something very valuable there. It mustn't fall into the wrong hands. And your hands would be the right ones? Let's just say we're friends. We're the good guys. We fight against oppression by the Organon. Death to the Organon. The Organon is planning something. Something unspeakable. So unspeakable that we cannot talk about it. We've got to go. We've already said too much. But we'll be back. And then we'll get what is rightfully ours. Do not talk about this to anybody. Keep your back to the wall. And do not forget who your true friends are. Death to the Organon. Death to the Organon. What was that all about? That's what I'm saying. They look like ninja. Okay, so the shop. Is it by. Let's see. And who have we here? Well, if it isn't the newcomer that everyone's talking about. They're talking about me. High time, too. All those stories of my heroic deeds are actually quite understated. We're not interested in fairy tales. You've got something that we want. Huh. Tough. Good looks is something you're born with. We are talking about the secret ascension codes. The ascension codes? Over my dead body. Uh, wait, let me rephrase that. Uh-oh. Ow! Ow! Oh! Ouch! Ow! Ow! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Ow! Oof! Ow! Oh! 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 He hasn't got the money. I guess he isn't as stupid as he looks. So what do we do now? We'd better report this to Donna. Oh! Oh! Lots of friendly people here. Uh, maybe I should tone it down a bit. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea, Rufus. Wow, that was rough. Look at the seagull here. With a hook? Look at that! Oh, it's a shoe! <laughs> Poor guy! Okay, so I think this is the shop here. Welcome to Gilligan's Gadget Garden. You are being served by Shopomat2000. How may I help you? Uh, yeah, Doc sent me to get a set of cartridges. Of course, we currently offer two different brands. The first is Platinum Proof Professional. They are somewhat more expensive, but of better quality. There is a cheaper kind as well. Cowboy Dodo's Jolly All-Purpose Cartridges. Their quality may not be top of the line, but they come with a free colorful lollipop. A lollipop? So, which brand do you prefer? I think I'm proof. 
Come on, Vesti got picked this one. I mean, I'm gonna pick this one. But he's seen the mind of my, of the love of my life. Yeah, exactly. I won't be. Oh, good. All, all the options tend to point to the better one. Um. And those are really the good cartridges? Of course. Remember, Gold's mind is at stake here. All right. Here goes nothing. Did it work? I'm not sure. Something's not right. Rufus? Oh, I might have known. Why does the same question pop up in my mind every time I set eyes on you? Who's that good-looking guy in the snappy overcoat? Where am I? Because the aura of my magnetism is befuddling your sense of orientation. <laughs> Seriously, where did you drag me off to this time? And what is that awful smell? This is the floating black market. You're safe here. Safe? Rufus, I was on my way to Elysium. Well, yes, you were, but with the wrong guy. Cletus wanted to help me. And you trust that lying slime bag? Yes, who I am more likely to trust. My fiancé or his cheap imitation. Hey, what's up with you? What's up? I wake up only to find myself in some stinking torture chamber. That's what's up with me. I'm already itching all over just because I'm forced to breathe this foul, polluted air. I'm about to be sick. I need to get out of here. She seems to be pretty mad. Not really. I just have a certain effect on explosive women. What? Lighting the fuse? Yeah, very funny. But she actually did seem a little volatile. Are you sure you didn't mess her up somehow? Hmm. I think I might be able to explain this. Some information wasn't written to the cartridge. Almost as if we'd used the cheap ones. Not as cheap as your excuses. Her mind appears to have been split three ways. So, the woman who just stomped out of the lab is only a part of Goal? And not the most agreeable part, I hope. Come on, Doc. I thought you were an expert. It is nothing that I can't fix. But for that, I need all three cartridges, including the one that is currently inserted in her implant. Also, I cannot operate without the consent of the patient. Therefore, all three parts of Goal must cooperate before I can go ahead with the surgery. Oh yeah, judging from her mood, she'll be positively enthusiastic about you flipping open her skull again. Hmm, agreed. Maybe you had better start with a different part of her character. Huh? Take the two cartridges that are still in the output hopper. And this thing. What is it? A remote control? Not quite. See that compartment in the back? Just insert one of the other cartridges and press the button when you're close to goal. That's what I said, a remote. It's more complicated than that. Data's written to a buffer and... And I can zap back and forth between two characters. No. Yes. <laughs> Something like that, but... Just like a remote. <sighs> Just like a remote. Cool. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Hurry up, Rufus. The longer the fragments of her character get used to their independence, the more difficult it will become to talk them into having that surgery done. Go find Goal and persuade her, all three parts of her. I will prepare everything else here in the meantime. All right, here we go. I can't believe he ended up choosing the cheap one with the lolly pop. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's a Rufus, right, guys? <laughs> okay, let's see here. Good ones. I wish we could choose the good one, but then they wouldn't have this part, I guess. All right, let's see. Lady goes to surgery. Find gold. Get to know second gold. 
There we go. Wow, it's like she split into three personality now. Remote. Another surgery. Okay, so we basically had to convince them. Um, well, all the gold. We have the surgery. Okay. Hey, we're in chapter five. Oh wow. How you just remote? I have to agree with um, Rufus Sanders. I think remote. It is kind of like a remote, right? A tinkerer's best friend. The carelessness of fellow tinkerers who leave their tools lying around. I wonder what part of her personality is on here. I bet it's her shapely butt. I wish I'd had one of these for Tony. Did that say you something to... The cartridge fits! Now the remote just has to work. Thanks to my charm, the rest will be child's play. Remote including cartridges? Huh. Okay. It wasn't... Oh, no, we can't click on anything. Well, can we click on it? <clears throat> it's okay! Nope. <laughs> How about the freezer with the switch? Nope, still doesn't do anything. Okay. Look at these pictures here. Air blow up. Shower crying. Fire burning. Oh my. Wow, where did it go win? You really gone. Oh wow. Hmm. We supposed to find her next, right? What's up do? Oh no, there's nothing up here. I thought these all look kind of suspicious. <laughs> oh, what? There we go. Does it say where we're supposed to go? I think we're supposed to find go. Did she say where she went? Is it this way, maybe? Oh, wow. Oh, this may be it. Well, look at the knife up here. This is... I don't know what this place is. Oh, wow, this place is huge. Let me see something. Oh, yeah. A lot going on. Dog in this. I wonder what section we're in now. Yes, we can tell when we're in the section. Well, I am actually going to stop the part right here. When we come back, we'll continue our search for gold and try to convince her to do another surgery. Thanks to Mr. Rufus here. Thank you so much for watching all your support. You are incredible. If you enjoyed this, be sure to click on the button below to like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, keep on playing. Take care.